pick my colors here. I've got a yellow orange and a, a yellow green and a blue green. And I've already started uh, getting them moist. And I've sketched out uh, with a thin brush. Uh, let's see, I used, uh, yeah, I used my thin brush on this one, my number one. And I just sketched out my uh, tree shape first. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wet my page down just from the very beginning. See what happens. All right. So let's just start with a fairly thin color here of my yellow green. I can go right into my storage container where the yellow green is a little thicker rather than go to my plate where I've thinned it down. I could do that too. And I kind of like seeing uh, that thick line and then watering it down on my plate here and getting a thinner mixture here. All right, this is going to go very fast. And down at the bottom here, I've already stroked in some yellow green. All right, and I did use my uh, dark purple for my trunk of my tree. And now I'm going to bring in my, uh, my yellow orange color, which is, you can see I've got a thick bit here and I've got thinner over here. So let's start with the thick first. And just get just a little bit of shape going here. Just a little bit. And then come back and get the thin paint. And see the object is we want these paints to kind of merge together right there on the page. So that's why they're so watery. All right, this is, this is a really loose project. So don't worry too much about what happens. It's going to be a bit of a surprise. Be sure and leave a little bit of white here in between your shapes. Just a little bit for sparkle. All right, so that's pretty wet. Now I'm going to come back with some blue here. And uh, let's see if we'll start with it being a little bit thicker here at the top. And remember, my paper's damp. All right, so then I'm just rinsing out my brush, leaving some water in it, and not getting too much paint anymore. And I'm just going to let that come on down. Just see what happens. Alright, so I'm losing my paint. I'm losing my blue. <laughs> so let's go back and get some more blue. And just kind of let it flow. Let it flow. Yeah, this is wet. Very wet. I'm liking that a lot. Alright, do I need to um, get some more? No, I think my page is just damp. I don't want to get it too watery. Alright, so I'm just letting it flow on down like so so this is thin this is like the watercolor thinness of acrylics which I love all right that's all we did just pure and simple we're gonna leave it go like that okay great now we'll move on to the next one so let's make something useful with those <laughs> Um, you can buy these uh, greeting cards and envelopes at your craft store. And uh, my goodness, a package of 40 envelopes and 40 cards. Wow, you can just go on forever making <laughs> these uh, small paintings. This, of course, is the, the thin version of acrylics with the tree. And then this was the thicker version that we painted. And all I did was uh, trim them up carefully and get some double stick tape and stick them to your greeting card. And then uh, just keep making more and more of these small paintings and send them out to your friends, relatives, and uh, loved ones. And I'm sure they'll appreciate getting an original painting from you. So this is just kind of a fun project to uh, 
encourage you just to keep practicing and trying new things with paint.